In this video, we will look at how we can use dimensional analysis to convert two units, such as miles per hour, into feet per second. The keyword in these, in these units is per, which is always the fraction bar. This means we will have two units, one in the numerator and one in the denominator, which must be converted for the problem. We will do this by converting one unit at a time, with each its own conversion factor. For example, if I wanted to convert from 100 feet per second into miles per hour, we will start by making the 100 feet per second into a fraction, where per is the fraction bar. 100 feet per, being the fraction bar, puts the seconds on the denominator. We want to convert this to miles per hour, or miles over hours. This means we want to have miles in the numerator. To do that, we are going to need to get rid of the feet that are in the numerator. To get rid of them, they must go in the denominator and become miles. We know the relationship is 1 mile to 5,280 feet. Now, the feet will divide out of the problem, leaving just the miles which we are looking for. We can now use another conversion factor to change the denominator to the hours we want, not the second. Because the seconds are already in the denominator, to clear them, we must move them to the numerator. We want those seconds to become hours, and we can look up that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. Seconds being on the denominator and the numerator, dividing out, leaves just the hours in the denominator like we want. By multiplying these together across the numerator, 100 times 3,600 is 360,000. miles on top, over 5,280 times 1, which is 5,280. Dividing these numbers will give us our final rate of 68.2 miles per hour. Let's take a look at another example, where we make this conversion using two units, changing one unit at a time, and per is the fraction bar. Here we have 28 miles per, 25 miles per hour is 25 miles, per being the fraction bar, over hours. We will convert them to kilometers per minute, or kilometers over minutes. This means we need to get the miles out of the numerator. We do this by putting them in the denominator and changing them to kilometers. We can look up that the relationship is 1.61 kilometers is 1 mile. This will divide out the miles, leaving just the kilometers that we're looking for in the numerator. However, we still need another conversion factor in order to get rid of the hours in the denominator. Because they're already in the denominator, we must put them in the numerator to divide out as they become minutes. One hour is 60 minutes, and we have set up our conversion factor, allowing the hours to divide out, leaving just the minutes in the denominator. We're now ready to multiply straight across in the numerator, 25 times 1.61 kilometers times 1 is 40.25 kilometers. Over 1 times 60 minutes is 60 minutes. Dividing 40.25 by the 60 minutes gives us 0 0.67 kilometers per minute. By using two conversion factors, one to clear the numerator and one to clear the denominator, and remembering that per is the fraction bar, we can make conversions that involve several units.